Hey everybody, Guy Ferdman here of SatoriPrime.com and in this training video I'm going to show you how to use Boosted Posts, a feature that Facebook has had for quite a while, but I'm going to show you how to do it in a very advanced, very specific, very targeted type of way so that you can generate more leads, get your engagement up, and start doing more with your marketing. So stay with me. All right, welcome back here. Guy Fredman here with you, of course. So here's a post that I just put up on our page right now. It's a previous article that I wrote about Facebook insights and analyzing the page. You should definitely check out that post as well. Uh, over here, you can see my boosted post button or boost post button, and I'm gonna click on it, and you're gonna see that I'm gonna have my default audience as an option that I can choose here, or I can pull down something uh, that I've already pre-built, but I'm gonna show you what I did here to get that over there. And then I can create my own audience if I want, where I can put in countries, age groups and four to 10 interests. Now what I've found is when I come here and put in interest, it actually doesn't have the entire interest playbook, if you will, that you can actually get in the ads manager. But I'm gonna show you an even cooler way to do this to really hone in and target specifically on your audience, okay? So all right guys, your next step is to head over to your ads manager. So I've already opened that up and then click on power editor. And that's gonna bring you to a page that looks like this. It may ask you, it actually definitely will ask you to download information from your ads account. So think of Power Editor if you've never used it before. We do have some training on it in our uh, previous blog posts and I'll link to those as well. But if you've never used it before, think of Power Editor as a third party application where you actually need to pull and push the information from and to Facebook. But it is built by Facebook, okay? So once you're back here, you'll see the data from your ads manager back here, but what you really need to do is head over to your audiences because we're gonna create a custom audience for your boosted post, okay? And you're gonna have to go up here in the top left corner and click on saved target group. And that's gonna go ahead and create a blank group for you uh, down here below. So I'll just pull this up a little bit if we can. We can't, okay. And we'll just call this one boost post test. And as you can see, if you already have custom audiences and you're using retargeting and things of that nature, again, we do have some training on that in our previous blog posts, so I'm not gonna get into it here. You can add those here and actually create a custom group for your boosted posts if you want to. For those of you who don't know what the hell I'm talking about, don't worry about it. Um, you can still use the everyday interest from Facebook. So what I'm doing with this particular boost post is I'm going after people who are interested in Facebook marketing and wanna learn more about it, obviously by training them on things inside of Facebook. So I'm gonna type in something really general like Facebook marketing, but we're also gonna go after some people who teach Facebook marketing, uh, people like Brian Moran, Mia Davies, and uh, Amy Porterfield come to mind, so let me just use them. And you can see as I type in the names that if I find this here in a list, let's see if we can find it, there we go up top. You'll see that the list size will actually be growing up here as I add names. Um, why don't we also make this a little bit more specific with country, let's do United States, do United Kingdom, and there you go, and I can see some of the list growing over there in size, so let's do UK. And let's do people between 25 and 59. Just wanna show you that all the same parameters that you're using in your ads manager you can use here. That shrank down my list a little bit. And you know, if I was to go after my one of my custom audiences that I have built, so for one of my products, let's say, these are people who've um, are bought my product and also like these people. So it's about 2,400 people uh, out of those right there. But if I want to create a larger audience, again, I'm just showing, showing you that you can really ultra target people based on marketing that you may have done in the past with your audiences, or you can go after a more general general group or kind of give it the same type of parameters you might with the uh, ads manager, right? So let's just stick with that for now. I'm gonna go ahead and upload these changes. Again, you need to push and pull the information from Facebook. Now let's go back to my Facebook page and let's hit refresh on this because we need to do that for the boost post information to show up. And then if I boost this post now, you guys saw what it looked like before. Now under my default audiences, I'm gonna have the list that I just created, this boost post test over here, okay? And there you go right away, you can see Facebook marketing, Brian Moran, Mia Davies and Amy Porterfield, United Kingdom, United States, 25, 59 years old. And then you're gonna to wanna to set your budget. Now our budget is 
pretty large, and that's because we have a large fan page of about 120,000 people. If you have a much smaller page, don't worry. Uh, you can pull this down, and it should be significantly cheaper than $75. If that's still too rich for your blood, you can name your own price. So I can just click on what I did was click on choose my own, and then I could come up here and type in whatever I want. So you see, if we have, went after $5, it would basically give impressions to or reach an additional 300 to 780 people in their newsfeed. If I went after 10, you can see I would double that number. And then the only other options I have here are the uh, days that I wanna boost this post. So I can do between one and seven days and those are really the only options I have. So by using this methodology, you could really hone in on a targeted a target audiences that you wanna see your posts. In that way, you're growing your brand awareness if that's what you're aiming for. You're getting more exposure to your fan page. More people are gonna like your page as long as you're delivering quality content. Obviously, that's what I'm trying to show you guys here is I'm training people on Facebook Insights. It's quality content that people in these uh, specific audiences are gonna be very interested in. And by doing that, I'm siphoning that traffic back to me. So a lot of people think about traffic, like they have to build the roads and they have to build the highway. It's not really true. What you're really doing is just creating exits. So think of Boost Post as another exit that you're creating so that you can kind of maneuver people's eyes onto you, build a relationship with them, and eventually, if not right away, turn them into a customer by building relationships, increasing likability, and increasing trust by giving them additional value. You can become an authority to that person and in that way recommend your services or your products to them very easily with a very high conversion rate. All right, guys, so down below this video and underneath this article is a comment box. I would love to share uh, from, well, I'd love to hear from you guys that you guys share some insights about what you've learned in this video and how you're going to use it for your business and in that way we're all sharing together learning from one another and getting value as a community all right guys so hope you enjoyed this training look for other trainings coming shortly and of course subscribe to our youtube channel by clicking on the satori prime logo it should either be on my left or my right hand side just put your mouse over it click subscribe and you can get more great videos like this and we'll be delivering a lot of them in the upcoming future Take care. Bye.